welcome to the Highgate Select Board meeting for May 2nd, 2019. Our first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll go right into public comment for anything that is not on the agenda. Go ahead, Sue. Uh, we have a tree that last year you guys put in front of Larry Boys. who had two crosses. The tree is very dead. It's very close to the road. Um, and I've been really worried about it. I'm trying to put my neighbors down there um, with the bad wind. If it's not taken care of, it's going to fall. It's either going to fall on somebody or a car or the wires. It needs to be taken care of. And that due process will not fall, and the tree is still there. Okay. And uh, one of my neighbors did bring it up to my attention, so I'm going to have to report it. Public works is a way of it. Huh? Public works is a way Thank you. It's just, I'm afraid of the, you know, the high sure. work we've had and and stuff, I just want to make sure that it's taken care of. Okay. Ty? Thank you. Uh, just question. Uh, I know on a town meeting day, we always have our state representatives come to give an update. Mm -hmm. We never have our state senators show up. And we try to request our state senators to come to one of your meetings and give us an update. Sure. Is it Corey? Corey was here. Yeah, a month or so. Oh, okay. Oh, not long ago. I, I missed it. I, I apologize. I missed that one. That's all right. We've got to keep them accountable. The more you read on news, the more you're still doing it. Yeah. Doing what we want to do. Yep. Okay. Any other public comment? Okay. Moving right along. Michelle is here from the library. Michelle Volwell. Hi. How goes the library? Well, we're making progress. Um, kids' programs are doing really well. The adult programs, we're struggling a little. Um, Recipe Club has been going well. We've had five or six club members that come, you know, every month, and that one's been good. Um, haven't had a lot of interest in the knitting and crocheting group. I've got a new monthly program starting, um, which is going to be called Spiritual Readings with Susie. And I have Susie coming in to do all kinds of stuff. Uh, and I have another young lady who wants to do Reiki at the library as well. So I'm hoping that will draw some new adults in that we haven't seen nice. before. So do you have some times for these uh, adult activities? Yes. The Recipe Club is the last Wednesday of the month at 6 p.m. The spiritual readings, um, we have the first one coming up on the 21st at 6 o'clock. The knitting and crochet is Tuesdays at 10.30. Uh, the summer stuff, we, we have a lot planned for summer that's coming up. Um, we're, right now I'm trying to recruit some adults or seniors in the community who might want to take part in our gardening club. Uh, we've got the kids coming over from Summer Academy and we've got raised beds. We have a grant, um, one grant that we were successful in, in getting some money and we've applied for another one to help fund that. Um, we have a garden manager and we'd like the seniors to instruct the youngers and try to build some um, intergenerational relationships in the community to try to keep that going. So I guess that's the big stuff. Um, waiting on another grant. Um, you know, I'm happy with the employees I have. I'm happy with how Liza left the library. You know, I mean, I couldn't have walked into a better situation. I mean, I realized that, you know, it had been closed quite a bit over the summer, mm -hmm. but really, Everything we need is there. Good. So, still open for the bigger new library, but the little library is doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the meantime, is there anything that we can do for you? Um, yes. Okay. The back steps. <laughs> We've had three quotes, which I forgot to send to Heidi. Um, 
uh, the stone steps are crumbling and falling off. So um, all of our quotes for replacing them, we've decided that to go with pressure treated steps. It's only two steps. It's not like a big wide set of stairs. Um, the quotes range from $250 to $610 to do those but they're all dependent on our town for removing the old steps. So that is the only thing I think that I really need is those steps re removed. And Michelle has um, over $1,000 as of today still left in her buildings and grounds maintenance, so she okay. has plenty of money to get those steps yep. replaced. So does our art of lawn Care come out of that. Your lawn care does come out of that, and so I'm going to go a little over then. Even this the lowest quote may or may not include. I don't remember when I paid Ben, or if I have paid Ben yet because I don't want this sign. Right, he just got his contract. Um, that was minimal. Eight eight fifty for the whole year. So yes. Oh, okay. For the whole year. Only half of that would be paid this spring, and then the other half next fall. Okay. In so the yes. next cycle budget. So you still have. Okay, good. So I just need destruction. <laughs> yes. Okay. The old steps dug out and hauled away. But yeah, everything else. I mean. I might be able to round up some seniors from MBU that need some custom um, community service. Oh, we can always use those. I have one of those at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Okay. So if if you ladies can can arrange that without the public works, great. If not, let us know and we'll see if we can't sweet talk much. Okay. Any other questions for Michelle? Okay, any other questions? I would put out there, Sharon, as well, I, knowing that public work is busy, if you want to contact the fire department, myself, okay. I think we can get some guys together and we can get that taken care of. Okay, because that would be I, wonderful. I don't know if our two boys with a couple of jackhammers could really break these up. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty solid. They could be there to remove yeah. the different pieces yeah. level and the help. Ground. Yeah, yeah, level the ground. And, yeah. That would be good. Yeah. Okay, that, that's great. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Not a problem. Okay, anything else for us? No, just, you know, the planning is going. Um, Paloma's doing a great job. Erica's doing a great job. We have a fundraiser coming up. I almost forgot. June 21st at Twigs, we're doing comedy for cause. Yes, it's a Friday night. Um, I have tickets in my purse and at the library. Tickets are $25. Doors open at 5.30. Um, they leave people there early, so if you're going to eat and drink, you'll be married before the show. Um, so yes, June 21st is our fundraiser for summer programs. Okay, great. You have another fundraiser going through Hanford or something? I, oh, we do the bag program. Hanford chose the library for the month of May. If you buy a reusable shopping bag, one dollar goes to the library. So yes, thank you, Ty. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Great job. Keep up the good work. Okay, moving right along. Fire department. All right. <laughs> Memorial Day uh, update. <clears throat> barbecue is going well. We can always use some more donations. Uh, anybody cleaning out or anything like that, um, you can contact the fire department. You can call right here at the station. I get them now via email. So somebody can get back to you ASAP. Um, other than that, we are going great forward on Memorial Day. Okay. Um, Brought it up to the members with the time change, not a problem. Okay. So we're all set with that. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing on the morning day. What's the time change? Uh, the parade is at noon now. Yes. Yeah. So we're not really going to change anything about our barbecue because usually by noon we're pretty much done. Um, we start selling almost at between 9 and 9.30, so we start early enough to get them done, so. 
Can you just, just tell everyone what you take and what you don't want people to drop off? We will take everything other than mattresses, um, any uh, tubed television sets or anything like that. They're difficult to get rid of and we would have to pay to get rid of them. No tires. No what clothes. Else? No clothes. No clothes, <laughs> right. What's that? You don't take books anymore either, right? No, because, um, I mean, once again, like, we get flooded with books. Yeah. Um, and we'd like to take books, but it depends on what they are, put it that way. Right. Um, just, if you do have some, just let us know. We'll look at them. We'll see if it's something. If you got a nice set of encyclopedias you want to donate, well, that would probably be something that we would be interested in. Um, but just regular books, you know, that's probably not something we would go towards. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. Okay. Um, the community celebration, we talked earlier about, well, the three and right. The fire department is willing uh, so far uh, to do hamburger hot dogs. Uh, if so planned, um, we'll play that by ear as well. Um, and we will be willing to help out for cleanup and stuff like that. So in any shape or form, whatever is needed. Next thing we got on the list was the radio tower. All right, this one's a big when they did this back side of the roof, they found out that our tripods were rotted. Um, so to put a new tripod up on a roof, brand new roof that we're just putting up, I was wondering, <clears throat> and I was looking for the select board's opinion as far as that is concerned too, is to put a radio tower, a small 10 by 10 uh, tri-tower on the end of the building instead of connecting it onto the roof. In other words, we would be taking our antennas off the roof and we would be putting them on a small tower. Uh, if anybody's seen Ampere's up in Sheldon, you can see it right off the side of the building. It's just a small 10 by 10 um, triangle tower. Uh, we could do 100 feet because we're licensed for 100 feet, which would put us higher than what we are now, which would be better reception for us. Um, problem that we're having now, they had taken our antenna and they mounted it across the uh, post tower that's up there. We don't get reception in St. Albans now. Oh, that's not good. No. So this is something that I just came aware of last week because I was at the hospital and I never got to tone. So, um, and then I found out a few other instances where some of the fire department was not getting the tones in St. Albans. What kind of price are you talking, Joe? Prices vary. We got a price from Radio North between this is installed from putting it in from the ground up, 10 to 12,000. And Burlington Communication said it was gonna be between 15 and 20. I think they're a little high. Um, those were the prices. How's their budget look for? Well, their budget, they still have $5,500 left in their budget for the year. But the last few years, um, or the, I should say the first few years that we started budgeting for the fire department stipends, not nearly as much was being spent as was right. anticipated. So I don't have the budget balance right in front of me, but I know he has that. Okay. And I would feel comfortable with Radio North doing it. They've done everything for us. Yeah. We're very comfortable with their service. And I... I trust, I feel more, and I think John gave us a real good price on it, knowing that we would probably help out doing some things, so. We just spoke maybe a month ago about your budget balance. I yeah. want to say it was around 16,000. Yeah, 000. something like that. I'm not 
exactly sure. So. Okay. My question is, what about the tower, the receiver that was going on the cell tower? So that so would that that would have been only for central dispatch. That wouldn't be our our antenna here. We okay. still need our antenna here. Okay. Okay. That's that, that's a whole different. Okay, ball I didn't game. know that it wasn't <laughs> one of the same. No, it's a whole different ballgame. Unfortunately, that has come to a standstill. It's <laughs> not uh, feasible for them right now because of the way uh, the tower is set up, and there's interference at the spot they need to be on the tower. Okay. So we <clears throat> unfortunately do not have that option at this point. And this is why we were thinking of doing, because once this came to, to light, I was looking at the tower because then we would do a 100-foot tower and then our antenna can go above that, which would put us a lot higher than what we are now. So we would probably get better reception with our current situation. How big a base does this thing have? I'm not sure. It's going to fit in your little spot there? Yes. It is. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's not going to be a huge tower. Okay. If anything, it's probably going to be maybe two foot by two foot. Oh, okay. So it's going to fit within that hmm. sidewalk or okay. alcove area that we have. Yep. So it wouldn't be interfering anything. Um, with that, it would be attached to the side of the building, mm -hmm. up to the top, towards the P. So just to give it more stable. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that I just wanted to bring up to your attention. And we were looking at different prices and get people to get back to us. It was like right. pulling teeth lately. So I don't know what you guys feel, but I feel that that's a, an emergency. Yeah. So because they need to be able to yeah. get the dome. Yeah. Yes. Uh, only I'm sure if I tell them what we okay. have. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Um, okay, we're, we're moving down Radio North to it. Yes. To have Chief DePady pick the best well, contractor. I, think I would go Radio North anyways. They've been doing all of our radios oh. and... They're within your fund balance. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They've done all, every, everything for you. Mm -hmm. And they know the system, they know what mm -hmm. we've got for radios. I think they're gonna do us the best thing. That's, that's good. Comfortable with that? Yeah. Okay. So please pull the trigger on that and okay. get that going right away. All right. We'll get it going now. Okay. Moving on. Dry hydrants. Uh, we've been approved for the dry hydrant at Raleigh's Pond. I just got to get with Butch and nail down a time. Okay. Um, we talked briefly, but he was in a hurry, so it kind of was, as long as we can find a mutual time, we'll get it done. Okay. <laughs> we'll get it. Have fun. <laughs> so, as far as that's concerned, um, and... Before we do anything, that was the other thing. We wanted to go out and measure it, make sure we have the proper depth because they're asking for four feet of water. I'm kind of reluctant to see if we really have four feet of water, and if oh. not, then they're going to have to dredge it. So that might be a little change in plan. Okay. So um, our state guy is kind of leaving us in the high winds. <laughs> so we're gonna to try to nail them down by, I'm gonna to try to get out there and measure that so that we can make sure that we have it before we even start anything. Because um, I don't wanna line up, Butch, and then all of a sudden find out that, oh, we can't do it now. Right. Um, so he's got too many other things on his way. Okay, that's where we're at on the dry hydrants. Uh, we have here equipment grants. Heidi had talked to me about AED paddles um, for the complex here. Um, so we could probably apply for an equipment grant to purchase those. 
the other thing that I told her, we could probably go along with that grant, but I would like to update the ones that the fire department has. Mm -hmm. And they're on the trucks, so, I mean, they're just as good as if they're hanging up on the wall here. So, you know, you're more than welcome to them at any given time. Um, so, we could go through and get that situated for you. Um, they're portable, you know, is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just take them off the truck and go. Oh, yeah. They're only, they're a yellow box. Yay, yeah, 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 yeah. You just grab them. There's a handle on them. You grab them. And there's all prompts. The only thing that we would have to do is get you guys certified in CPR and AED. Well, that's what I was going to say. If, if it yeah. came along with some training. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that and they know. And Liza now is CPR and AED certified instructor. Mm -hmm. okay. So she is willing to do that for us. Right. She is going to be doing our recertification for the fire department. So um, we can line that up. Okay. If that's something you guys want to get involved in? <clears throat> the um, AED on the truck. Yep. The same ones you want to update or no? They're going to be a newer model. The uh -huh. ones that we have on the truck right now, oh, I want to say they're 15 to 18 years old. Oh. So um, it would behoove us to update them. Um, there's a few that were, one was donated uh, to us from Dick Cassidy. Um, so some of the, if we do replace them, I would love to be able to rededicate them back to the people that donated them. Mm -hmm. um, just to make sure that they're kept in mind of that. Um, that would be my only stipulation on that. Okay. We do need to maintain them and keep them up to date and we probably should get up and move a little bit more modern. Um, they're all voice prompt, so they're not difficult to operate. Just listen to the prompts. Um, so we can do that. Okay. And we can show you where they are on the trucks. There's one on engine two right on the first apartment, and there's one in the utility right on the back seat. Um, so they are available to you anytime you want to have one on the ball. I just don't know. really do. I mean, you're just next door. Okay. Okay. And I believe that's all I have. Okay. Does so the select board have any questions for Joe? No. Okay. Anybody from the audience have any questions? Michelle. How much are those, the AEDs? It depends. If we get them through the grant, usually it's a 50-50 match. Mm -hmm. And, um, I honestly, I would be just taking a wild guess. I'd hate to do that. Okay, because but. Liza had written a grant. Mm -hmm. for the community CPR. And I, there's still money left, and no one signed up last time. Well, one person signed up last time, so we couldn't have a class. Right. And I'm not sure if that money has to be used by the end of this fiscal year or not. I've never seen any of her grants. Okay. To know. To know. Okay. So like the actual agreements. Okay, so I will have to look that up. And I mean, it, if nothing else, we could probably use it to pay for training for people. Mm -hmm. Do you have one at the library? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so maybe we have a pay for the training for the something. employees of the town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. To to in train. order to even. Yeah. I, I Dan totally has one like at this. the arena. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just that can, yeah. Just right. Know. Like I, mine's out of date. My training because I did mm -hmm. mine at the elementary school. And you do have one at the library yes. too. Yes. So. So actually, our whole staff she needs. Right. Yeah. 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 That might be an easy spend. Yeah. See, the fire department does a research every year. They're good for two years, but we do it every year to make sure that we are up to par, just mm -hmm. because they're going to call us. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys want to get on with that, the research is a lot easier than the actual 
yeah. from getting the card first, but um, we can do it all as a, a whole group if you want to do the town and the fire department all at the same time. Sounds like an activity for our community <laughs> celebration. Santa You know, more people where you can get CPRs than <laughs> 80, they're everywhere now. Mm -hmm. They're all over in the airports, they're everywhere. So yep. um, it's only going to be beneficial. Anything else? Uh, okay. Membership. How are, you, are you guys good on membership? Membership is doing good. Um, response times are a little bit slower than what I'd like to see them. Um, but I think it's just because summer is coming around and you're not going to see people again for a little while. Um, it's like fall seems like everybody comes back and... Um, it's just one of those things. It's Are you still memory. working for new members? If anybody wants mm -hmm. to come, uh, we do not refuse applicants. It's <laughs> <laughs> hard to come by. <laughs> but yeah, occasionally we get new applicants coming in. So, um, so overall, we're doing really well. Um, we're still doing, uh, that was the other thing, we're still doing inventory. Uh, we've almost got all the trucks inventory to exactly what we had in every one of the trucks. Uh, we're putting a dollar amount to them, um, and then we're going to start working on building. So, what we have in the building. So, um, what do you get it complete? <laughs> Don't get a copy. <laughs> Don't take a copy. <laughs> um, it's slow coming. Um, I got to give uh, Ralph and Gary um, big credit on that. They've actually taken that ball and ran with it. So I've been letting them go. Um, they wanted to do it, so I said go for it. Um, so. And it's kind of good because we've already found that we can we located some stuff that we need to get and some hose that's really outdated a lot further than what we thought. So, um, so that's another thing. That so I have two asks for Memorial Day. <laughs> First is that could you spread the word amongst the fire departments in our mutual aid if they would be so kind as to come to our Memorial Day parade? Okay. We would really like to have them. Uh, I believe that was already sent out. Okay. And the second would be um, could we use a truck and a firefighter to stop the traffic at 207? Yes. Okay. We so, were planning that already. Okay. So, that, uh, anything else we had to ask the fire department, Doug? I think that was it. I think Richard already talked to the auxiliary about yep. tables. Perfect. Yep. Uh, Nelson and Keith talked to me about that. Um, you guys were doing a bake sale. Yes, the oh. Memorial Day Committee would like to have a bake sale so that we can begin the process of updating our memorial because our memorial does not, it only goes to World War II, right? Vietnam. Oh, it goes to Vietnam. Okay, so that we've had many engagements since then and we would like to honor those veterans as well. Uh, so we want to begin the process of fundraising and Shelly, I would ask that once we get started that we create an account. Absolutely. And uh, just leave that money there until we have okay. some plans and what have you. Yep. Keith also spoke to me on um, Tuesday while we were at the arena vote to get in touch with Veterans Affairs. Yes. To get all the names of the veterans of foreign wars from Highgate. <laughs> for updating of the plaques yes. in the park. Yeah, so, and we're gonna to try to do the plaques um, 
not all the names on one plaque so that should human error occur and we forget someone's name that you can go on the next okay. plaque so you that we don't think that we were okay from Iraq forward okay. uh, getting the names from the yes. Iraq for like 2000 2005 error right. forward so I think everyone what do you think Tom Gulf War Gulf uh, War yeah we got the Gulf War yeah are they out there? No. 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 Okay, so we need to go back be, further. Yeah, before, yeah. Uh, okay. Which is 90? That was in 90, right? Uh, that, yes, that was. Before that, because it was before. Hey, let me go back and see when did I join. That was 91. 91. I thought it was 90. 91, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's when I joined the Air Guards. Yeah. So that's something that the committee so is. So the forward. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I will be in contact with them. I can't promise it'll be done by Memorial Day. Maybe no. we'll at least have a list. Right. And uh, and we'll have a yeah, sign up I'm as the table. About is, and I told Keith right. this as well. Uh, obviously, the active veterans that no yes. longer live in Vermont. I'm, I don't know how, I'm hoping their computer system is United right. States wide and we can get a list of everyone, but. Yeah, and it'll probably be a year long process anyway, trying to make sure that we've gotten as many as humanly possible. Right. Correct. Um, so that's, uh, that's our hope as the Memorial Day Committee is to to honor all of our veterans, so um, baby steps forward. So to add on to that, Sharon, I didn't bring it up before in the other meeting, is that the reason why the fire department wants to do the hamburgers and hot dogs is all of that money will be donated for that. Um, all of the proceeds will go directly to that. The uh, memorial to, fund. Yeah. Oh. That is not to the fire department. Very, very kind. And you could put a plaque on it saying donated from the fire department. Well, and at some time, I would like to see a monument for the firefighters as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And even, yes. uh, yeah, yeah, and to, to honor those that mm -hmm. protect us. Because as far as that, we were going to try to see as, um, to try to get as much of the food that we got donated okay. um, so that all of the proceeds can be, anything that we make will go right towards that monument. No, that's, that's very kind, very kind. Don't want me to, but I think Steel Grizzle had a lot to do with this mm -hmm. one here. Yes. Yeah. Because yep. yep. he was a Highgate resident. Yeah. Yep. He did. Yeah. I think you did all the concrete, you know. Yeah, you yeah, did all the concrete, and, and then you did the benches. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I remember that. Okay. All right. What are you still? Sure. Now, wasn't there something brought up? I just thought about flowers. Something was mentioned about Michelle and Kevin, right? It was yes. Kevin. Yeah. So I've already talked to. Okay. A trustee. Well, one of the trustees, and she's going to take care of it. Okay. So yes, the the library and their children are, are yeah. going to help. It's already done. Yeah. Well done. That's it. Okay. So, moving right along, Shelly. Hang on, I'm coming up because you have a chair, but I don't yes. have a whole lot for you. Okay. I have the check run. Okay. There you go. Any questions about the checks? Okay. How's your email working? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later. <laughs> so you didn't see this yet? No. Okay, well, you can look at it. But other than that, I do have the audit in my office. I just got it uh, this week. 
I meant to put it in your box, but this week's been a little crazy. So I will get it to you this next week. <laughs> next time you come in, you'll have the audit. So I've been signing away, but can I make uh, have a motion for signing the check warrant? Yes. I need to sign the motion to sign the check warrant. Do I have a second? I'll sign it. All those in favor say aye. 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 As I finish <laughs> signing the check warrant. the world of treasury hmm we are wrapping up the year so uh the one finding on the audit was um balances as far as expected revenues um deferred payments right um all the extra stuff that usually when Jordan comes in, he helps me kind of process through between Heidi's grants and right. what's going on in town. We have a lot going on. Uh, they'd like to see Jordan come in or whoever from Sullivan Powers come in and have no journal entries. So it's my goal this year to have Nemrick come in and really sit with me and figure out what needs to be done in order for them to come in and have everything just the way they want it. Okay. That's my goal. That was their one finding, and if we have one finding this year, then so be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna... It's pretty good from where oh, we right. started. That's oh, yes. pretty good from where we started, yeah, so... Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Um, we will make it happen for them. Other okay. than that, um, no, I mean, payments are still coming in as far as, you know, people are taxes. getting their taxes. They're making their tax payments. And they're really trying. They're trying. And so I yeah, hey. that's all I can say. That's great. Our I don't think our balance has ever been lower. I'm I'm thrilled with our residents and couldn't be happier. If anyone wants to make a payment, you know where to find me. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> um other than that, no, I'm that's all I have for you. Okay. Um, you know, I ran at Sue just this week, and I never even really looked at the bottom. So when you come in on Wednesday, it's good. It's got to be close to eighty thousand now. That's yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, it's it's really when I started, and it was close to three hundred. <laughs> Uh, it's because you have worked with the people. Yeah. You have set up a plan and that I tried. a huge difference. I tried. It's a huge difference. <coughs> uh, I do what I can. You've done an excellent job. Thank you. So that's all I've got. Okay. Questions, Richard? I'm all set right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wendy. Hmm. Last meeting was April 18th. Okay. Did everybody have a chance to look at the 18th meeting minutes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Move to accept the minutes of April 18th. Okay. I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Oops. Okay. Um. Really quick, Karen we're making this. great yeah. progress in before Milani starts ticketing people. As of today, we're at 808. Wow. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Guys are doing great. <laughs> yeah. So we've got 75 <laughs> plus or minus still out there. Uh, Bonnie's going to come pick up a list tomorrow and some ticket books. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. Um, green Up Day and Hazardous Waste Day are this weekend. We have Green Up Bags. We have plenty as of right now. We have two days left. So stop by and get them or call me. I can make arrangements to try to get them to you. Um, Hazardous Waste Day, I've gotten a ton of phone calls, so I think they're going to have a good turnout for that as well. 
um, what do you accept, how much does it cost? So I've been, you know, um, getting people in touch with Northwest Solid Waste District, but I think that's going to be very well attended as well. And the last thing I have is just to recap Tuesday's vote. Um, where is my stuff? It was lackluster turnout <laughs> at best. Yeah. <laughs> um, the results for the district for all three towns, a total of 463 people voted in all three towns. All three Yes, 104 in Highgate. Oh, well, then I wasn't the last one. <laughs> so um, just to recap that, we did elect six board members, two from each town, Devin Batchelder and Eric Borgard from Franklin, Chris Shepard and Steve Scott from Highgate, Donald Collins and Megan Conley from Swanton. Um, the Article 2 question about adopting the amended <coughs> Articles of Agreement did pass by a pretty significant margin, 337 to 97. Um, so we will be moving forward with the amended articles. Um, I heard just today the date set <coughs> for the budget vote is going to be Tuesday, June 11th. And we're also going to be voting on the extra three board members that day. A three-year term for Franklin, a two-year term for Highgate, and a one-year term for Swanton. Anyone interested in running for those peti uh, positions? Petitions are due to central office by next Friday, May 10th. I did post everything on our website and Facebook page. Um, if people want me to get them petitions, I can certainly do that. But it was a very long day. Boring, cold. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking next time might be a little more, we're talking dollars next time, so. Right. But we'll be at the arena next time too. That actually worked out very well. Thank you okay. very mm -hmm. much for the facility. The part, there's plenty parking of parking. Right. Yeah. We could actually see daylight. Mm -hmm. and yep. See children. And <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out good having it there. So we'll be back at the arena 7 to 7 on June 11th. Okay, and we thank you very much because we know that's a... Total pain in the butt, but a necessary part of the democracy we have. That's right. So we thank you both for that. That's um, it for me. Okay. Heidi. Um, just for those that weren't here and those out in uh, the public, we had our first community celebration planning meeting at 6 before this meeting, and the next one will be... The next meeting, which is on the 16th, May 16th, so anyone that wants to participate in that, uh, please join us. It's open to anyone who wants to help. Um, <clears throat> the wastewater planning advance um, is still in the works. We've had another phone call. Um, with Regional Planning Commission and some support from uh, Vermont Community Development Program because we're still trying to fine-tune exactly when they're going to give us an award. Right. So um, the uh, hope is that they're going to be a little more flexible about what they will cover with their grant funding. We may not need to apply for the Northern Borders Grant, which would oh. be the wraparound services. Um, and that's the hope. They're supposed to give us some sort of notification this week, formally saying these funds are set aside for you because until now they have not done they have not done that yet. So, but I am asking um, for you to let me know that we could move forward with an application if it becomes necessary because it would be due on the tenth. So you're asking for the ability to apply for the northern border. Grant. Yes. Okay. And I did have um, a copy of that with a budget, but I think I gave it to Steve LaFarre. Um, no, I haven't. So this is the um, concept for the northern borders, which hopefully we won't have to apply for. Um, I think in their criteria, this project isn't going to rank really high. They're usually looking at job creation, extending infrastructure. So it does meet their criteria, 
but there's probably going to be other projects that will be more attractive to them. So, so will you know in time? to apply for the Northern Borders Grant? That's the hope. And okay. we do have a framework from another application that was done um, for a cluster of towns. So they were awarded funding, but again, more bang for the buck because they were so many sure. towns. So um, I think we'll be able to throw the application together quickly. We've kind of been waiting, okay. <laughs> okay. hoping we don't have to. <clears throat> Do you have a what's the opinion? Benefit, what's the benefit to cost ratio look like for doing so much hoping? Um, sorry, say again. Well, I, <clears throat> you seem to have used the word hope quite a bit. In, Gotta stay hopeful. In, conjunct, in conjunction with this funding source. Um, so is that really going to be worth sitting on pins and needles? Can't or, win if you don't play. So I think it's not <clears throat> so much this grant, but the actual $30,000 mm -hmm. uh, wastewater treatment mm -hmm. uh, that we're hopeful will cover some of the stuff that this uh, grant has to go in in order to cover. So in other okay, words... Okay, so if we get the $30,000 funding, we won't need this. Possibly. Or, possibly. If they become a little more flexible about their criteria. So they were checking because they are, uh, I think the program is written in statute. So they're checking exactly how flexible they can be. Um, but the 30,000 is set aside for us. It's not a firm commitment yet. So that's the limbo we're in. It won't be a firm commitment until we give them an exact estimate from an engineer after going through a process of selecting. I was going to be a sort of say you smart so out and to left in the next election. But the <laughs> carrot, yeah, is moving further and further so away. Explain this a little bit. Wastewater, I, I need to be updated here. The wastewater grant for that planning advance is from the Agency of Natural Resources, um, not the one you're holding, sorry. And our planning advance is $30,000 that we submitted an application for, and they basically have said it's on a first come, first serve. We're first in line. We can have those funds. Okay, okay, we got But the, just verbally, we don't have any contract. I understand that. Let's back up. Mm -hmm. Okay, the way, okay, when we get that 30,000, wastewater for what? It's to evaluate wastewater potential in the village. Focused on the village core master plan property, the Meishi estate, the former okay, garage. Okay, so it's right back to that, okay. It's mm -hmm. all about determining what's possible there. And while we're doing that, they want us to look at the whole village so that their funds are being practically used um, and Okay, looking so, at other potential. So how much is this northern borders? Great. Okay, so you're saying you only need one? You only need the 30000 and you won't need this one? Not no. exactly. No. It's... Uh, in, in order to apply <clears throat> um, for the 30000 Yeah. some things have to be done first. Okay, and we need this one to do them things? Maybe, because if the $30,000 will uh, be a little flexible, yeah. they might help cover some of the stuff that they yeah. want there. Yeah. But if they have to stick strictly to what is written and what the young lady came and talked to us about, um, then yes, we'll need that extra in order to be eligible for the 30000 is the way I understand. Yep. That hey, is young, a good summary. Now, young lady, now get these ladies. There was one on the phone there, right? 
Well, yep. You know. She's holding our 30000 The one, one on that the was on the video. Yep, video okay. and the phone. And then and, the other one? Uh, she's from Regional Planning Commission. That was Greta. Yeah. And she was explaining uh, the challenges in trying to get this funding. And they would help us to apply for the 20000 from Northern Borders. And they would be happy to serve as the consultant and do that project for us. So the second page is an estimate from a similar grant that ANR did um, with several towns to do those wraparound services. It involves a, um, for everyone else, it involves a survey. It involves understanding, you know, are there problems? It, and it involves looking for um, pockets in town where you might be able to do a centralized or a decentralized system um, or water. So it looks at two options and then it tells you what the town would have for options. The money um, comes from the planning advance, does not have to be paid back until such time until as, do something, right? until the town decides that they want to go to construction and then you roll it in with your construction loans. So the 20,000 works the exact same as the 30,000? No, the 20,000 is a grant and we're able to use the 30,000 as the required match. Oh. It's a 50-50 grant. Oh, so That's why the timing so, is nice. So if, if it goes through, we'll, we'll have to pay half of it back, right? 30000 Oh, I'll pay the whole thing back. Well, she said a match. Well, the the grant for the 20000 the yeah. Northern Border Grant, that's 20000 Yeah. They're going to accept as our portion of the payback for that grant yeah. to be this thirty thousand dollars. So you kinda of play in you kinda of play in card shuffle. So that Robin Peter they call. Uh that's government. It's holding hands, working together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an easy scenario. It's been very, very complex. But if we can make them work together, it will be a very nice win for the town to have it done with no out-of-pocket cost. Only if we decide to go to construction. Yes, that's Correct. a very good point. Thank you. Yes. Yep. Okay. So we're requesting $20,000, but We've, we've got to put up a match of, uh, of $20,000 for the northern border. Um, so that would be the northern borders grant, and that's a 50-50. So we would have to have a $20,000 match, but we're able to use the ANR funding as our match. Potentially, yes. I, I get that point. Um, so it's all or all right. nothing? So 20, how do we Maybe. word how do we word a motion so as to authorize the possible uh, application for this northern borders grant? I would move to make it possible for this to happen, but I'm not sure how to, so how to phrase it. We'd make a motion to authorize Heidi to apply for the Northern Borders Grant if um, the, what's the name of that grant? The <laughs> Asian. Sure. Yeah, so that. The planning advance? Yeah, the planning advance from ANR um, did not allow for the feasibility studies that are needed in order to apply for that money. Does Wendy get that? If necessary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll apply if, if necessary. necessary. 
<laughs> okay, that's good. I couldn't okay, repeat it if I wanted to. <laughs> okay, do I have a second? All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 That was opposed. Okay. Okay, sorry. Um, so, um, I have a draft letter uh, of support for the Lamoille Valley Rail Trail. Um, they are hoping to also apply to Northern Borders Regional Commission for some funding to hire a coordinator to do a full marketing and um, to, to put on a fundraising push to finish these segments. Thank you. Thank you. And they have done some amazing work. Hmm. Where those washouts were, it was bad. Incredible. Like 40, but, it, but it's incredible how how wow. well that it's turned out. It's amazing. It's you nicer know, than the rest of the trail. Down. Yeah, it is. <laughs> truly, absolutely, truly. We got another one started on the checks, and I knew it was going to happen. But being federal money, they couldn't fix that. Mm -hmm. Plan on seeing something in the next couple of years of me back in there with things. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it lasted for all those years, and then now it becomes a trail, and now it keeps washing out. You know what I mean? But you took all the rails out and all the still though. Yeah, the, yeah, the railroad was the annual maintenance. Yeah, they put a lot of stone in there. Mm -hmm. I worked there two years for the stone down. That, that's a big 40, 50 foot. Yeah, you know, that's a big drop. Crazy. Do you want a motion to sign this letter of mm -hmm. support? Yeah. yeah, second. Well, then you can read the letter first. Well, means I agree. Keeping us in line, Richard. Randall is coming, but. Just get down ball. Beat Franklin. There well, go. there. Congratulations. 2 0. Beat Swanton on Tuesday night. Yeah. Got a win streak going. He's like, yeah. the team. Just gotta get our kids to hit. It's walk, walk, walk right now. Oh. Oh, come on, coach. <laughs> okay, so all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed. Everything else is in your report. Um, I do have some legal issues to talk to you about and some contracts. Yep. Um, but I just wanted to bring this up while REC is here too, that uh, we've received notice that SBA is replacing some of the antennas. Uh, T-Mobile is replacing some of the antennas on the tower. Um, so they will be doing some work, but it looks like it is just a replacement of things that are existing. It's not going to change anything. So um, other than there may be some additional uh, equipment on the ground, but no major changes. If anybody wants to read it, it's all here. And that's it for me. Okay. So... Uh, we have had a uh, contract change for St. Albans Dispatch. Um, are we comfortable talking about that in open session, or do we need to have an executive? Uh, I think it's fine. I don't think it's okay. fine now. All right. I would agree. And as soon as I could find it. So I know it's right here. Oh, I had the original one here. Okay. So, St. Albans Dispatch. Um, I'll just read the letter, is what they're giving us. Reconsideration of the Highgate dispatching fees based on the fact that Ms. Siskoi Valley Rescue, Inc. of Swanton, Vermont, will be the new provider of EMS services in Highgate, and their dispatching is handled by Middlebury Regional Emergency and Medical Services, Inc. B. 
based on a review of these facts and circumstances, I have decided that a reduction in fees for Heidi is appropriate. In averaging the two years reviewed between 25 to 30 percent of the total emergency calls dispatched by Central Dispatch and Highgate are for the fire department. The new total dispatching bill for Highgate 2019 to 20 is $34,408. 30% of that equals $10,322.40. Your dispatching service fee has been reduced to $10,322.40, effective July 1st, 2019. This may be subject to review and change in the future, and it shows the following data in which he formulated this fee. Uh, signed, Chief Gary Taylor, St. Albans Police Dispatch. So, basically, you are saving 70% <coughs> of your dispatching bill uh, from St. Albans Dispatch, but uh, please note that we will be paying some dispatching fees to Middlebury Dispatch. Directly. Uh, directly because they are a subcontractor for uh, MVR. So uh, the police, uh, Salem's Dispatch will cover our fire and um, we'll be using MVR's subcontractor for the ambulance service. You don't have a price on that? No. That's a per... It's per call. Right. And it's unknown territory. Okay. We budgeted what we paid St. Albans. Yes. Not knowing. Okay. This year we'll find out. Uh, we did up the fire department a little bit. Again, not knowing. We budgeted 8000 for uh, this coming fiscal year. And they're giving us ten, so we're very close. Yeah, and for those people that want to know why we don't go um, all with Middlebury, we did check that out. They do not have the ability to take on any other dispatching. <coughs> and we have to go with Middlebury for the ambulance because that is um, mandated to our court case. So that was already negotiated for us. So, do we have a motion to accept the two $10,322.40 dispatching fee? Second. Discussion? Okay. Yeah, All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Can we please notify them that we <laughs> are doing that? Uh, Memorial Day. We are looking for entrance to our Memorial Day parade. Uh, they can contact me by email or my home phone, which is in the phone book, and leave a message or leave a callback number because I don't have caller ID. <laughs> um, we uh, have the fire department having their barbecue. They're having their auction, so they are taking donations. Don't be afraid to get rid of your junk. <laughs> Fire department. The treasures. That's right. One man's junk is another man's treasures. <clears throat> um, and we always are looking for volunteers. We have several committee members here. Ty is helping out. Uh, Tom is helping out in the back. Um, Richard is here. And Keith Plouffe is the other member beside myself. And Michelle? Oh, Michelle is working on a float right now. Well, I'm working in a group of folks that are doing a wagon brigade. Oh, good. Little rockets. There. Little so, rockets is what we're going for. So Ooh. our theme this year is Stars and Stripes. Whatever you do for them, And um, we are looking for... Bakery type, dessert type uh, donations for our um, fundraising table for the new memorial. So if anyone has a great recipe that they want to share and 
make, make a donation. donation. There you go. See, people buy that button, boy. <laughs> That's <Shout> right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So, so yeah, we would take those as well, and you could uh, contact one of the community or uh, committee members, or um, just leave a message with Wendy if you would be so kind to to take a message. How many batches should I make, Shelley? One for me. <laughs> 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 well, the thing I would add to that, Sharon, is uh, I know it's not an uh, election year, but we did pass the ordinance that yes. uh, politicians are welcome to uh, be on the sidelines. Be on the sidelines, but not in the parade anymore. Right. Correct. Great reminder. Yeah. So. We are happy to have everyone participate. We had a great parade last year. We'd like to make it even better this year. And like I said, we're gonna to try to raise a little money to port toward honoring the rest of our veterans. So. Just one quick question. Sure. The stuff that you have for the big stuff that is gonna to go towards directly to. Yes, we'll put that in the memorial the Mem actual the memorial the fund. Advertisement and I can let people know. Yes. If so, a lot of people know that this is for that, yep. they might want to age Sure. Right. Sure. So let me get that. Unless they're on the diet. Right. But let me talk to some of my customers and get the word out. Yep. Yep. Um, yes. Memorial Day. Okay. Yep. Let me. Um, and then to, the, to a monument or? yeah because our monument out here yeah, only goes to the vietnam war so the I'm rest of the, absolutely so the rest of the folks don't have any mention yeah so we're working on raising some money and getting some names we'll have a a, a clipboard uh, to sign up if you know of a veteran since the Vietnam War, that should be on this plaque. And we'll start to gather our names and try to, you know, start the process. And that fund will be a separate fund that Shelly will, I volunteered you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, sh that she'll keep that fund separate for that particular purpose. So, and that way they can be audited like everything else and be accountable. So that is it for me, but I would like to um, say we do have a few people to go into executive with, so. I got one select board item. Absolutely. At our last uh, rec meeting on Monday night, um, we made a motion to uh, ask the select board to, uh, um, so Little League gets Two thousand dollars out of the rec budget to rate the parks every spring. They they didn't do a good enough job in the rec size. Uh, we let the little league board members know so that they had an opportunity to come back. Two weeks went by. Brian started this week, and tonight five of us. Four board members and uh, and our rec director finished up the library park, and uh, we so we would like the select board to uh, to only uh, approve twelve hundred dollars to Little League, the other eight hundred to uh, um, go towards uh, park maintenance. Because um, when we need some hydro seating done, we talked about updating uh, the flower pots and stuff. Um, but that would money, money would stay right into these parks maintenance. Um, and just, yeah, on that note, we're going to go back to the Little League board and have them talk to their parents and ask if this is a fundraiser that they're going to want to continue to do um, because Last year they did, and it wasn't a great job. This year, you know, with last year not being a great job. This year, 
in their defense, because um, I was one of the ones who stayed until I don't know, 930, there's like five of us who raked out the other park. And in their defense, it was a windy night and it was a tough night to rake. Mm -hmm. um, but I do understand the concerns of the Parks and Rec. And I was there with uh, four Little League, three Little League board members, and uh, they were they were disappointed in the, uh, the turnout. Um, they had some parents saying, we've raked enough, we're out of here. Um, so I, I definitely see what they're talking about. Tonight alone at a little big park, it was four buckets, four tractor buckets full. Um, yeah. You know, hmm. uh, to take all of it away wouldn't be right either. You know, right. We did do some. Yep. Of, they, they worked, I would say, two hours. The, the bulk of the people worked two hours. Uh, this are what we've asked us to do. So, I'm going to ask you because you were involved. Does 1200 seem like uh, it's appropriate? Uh, I, yeah, I mean, uh, if I talk to the Little League rec board and they're a, a Little League board and they're in agreement with that, I'm okay with it. I just don't want to blindside them because if they had that money spent for things that's their operational budget. I mean, we're only hurting our kids at that point. Right. So, I I mean, if he's already spoke to Lily. I have not about dollar amounts. I have not. But we've talked to them that I, you know, we had to have to come back in order to get it out. We didn't I, before, to me, before we agree to that, I mean, yes, they didn't do a good job, and I hate rewarding bad uh, work rate, but it, it would, in the end, it would only hurt our kids. Right. And, you know, Honestly, it's not the kids out there raking, it's the parents. And the parents are the ones that probably dropped the ball. Um, before I, I would say in a, a feel comfortable amount, I'd probably ask the rec board to talk to the Little League board to see if they agree to that amount. And that way, I just I just would hate to say, well, now they, I don't know, you know, they don't have enough bats, they don't have enough balls, they don't have enough, and, and I'm sure they purchased all that already, but I just, I just hate to cut them short because I think you know I, I agree with you what you're saying, Tali, everything, but I think we said two thousand um, dollars, you know, and, and another year, this is what, but you know, going back on it, I, I think on our part, staying in Huggy, I think going back on our part, it's bad, you know, to take it away from them and for the kids that did break and stuff. I, I, I just think it's a wrong thing to do, you know, and it, it isn't like we're paying somebody else. It's staying in, in our community and, and I say and do something different next year right from the start. Make sure everybody's aware, you know, that's the way I feel right now. And I don't know how you guys. So I, I do have a feeling on that, Richard. Three years ago, it used to be 1000 and from the floor at town meeting, it was raised to two. And since then, it's just stayed at two. How do you propose we change it? You're the select board member. I, I think I, I think within another year, we sit down before we do any work. So during budgeting, see, yes. budgeting, we yes. will readdress this. Yes. Okay. You know, I, I think I, I think jumping on and and doing it right now, I think it's a wrong thing. You know, it's just going to well, get people all upset, parents and well, everything. Well, it might, but, like, what I'm saying is talk to their board first. And if their board agrees to it and they say, oh, yeah, because the board members I talked to that night, they firmly agreed. They're like, no, I'm very disappointed in my team's perform." Uh, one of the um, board members I was with, she's like, I asked my, my team to come over there. They said no and left. That, that's their own players. These right. these kids right. are old yeah. enough. These I kids, at this age, that, they're old enough. I agree with that, but I think it's I think it's gonna go with the. Uh, I think we're it, it's something to say if we do a job we don't do good, but most people still want to get paid. And, and what I'm saying is let it. It's staying in our community. Oh, I agree. You know, and, and for this year we need to do something next year. But mm -hmm. I'm saying. It's already been done, let it go this year, and then next year, like Shelly says, budget time, then 
we do something, you know, and, and I think it's kids involved and stuff. We do it ahead of time. We set it right down straight, you know. The last thing I want to do is take away from the kids. Right. Uh, Same right. That's, yeah. that's the same that's right. Because right. well, that's... But I in the end, get, I hear what I you're would, saying. If they were raking my lawn and it was like that, they wouldn't get the money. I mean, money. <laughs> well, right. what, being I was there that night, and like I said, I stayed <clears throat> to the end with the last four or five members, and I watched different people yeah. rake. And I, I saw a lot of a lot of state work no offense state workers, but a lot of people leaning on a on a rake. <laughs> but you know That's I, every year though, John. No, I I I've raked the last Whether I agree th or disagree with this whole thing, that's I've raked the last three year. years. This year was by far <laughs> the worst. And, and I just, it was four I, years I, for me. But from uh, I also I, I see both points, but I also agree with Richard because yeah. I will I've told Ty this. I, I will get a little kickback from the auditors. If the voters approve the 2000 at town meeting, mm -hmm. then we really don't have any reason not to give the 2000 this year. Whether they did or did not do a good job, I will get kicked back from the, the auditors. The 2000 is going to be given, it's just going to be either there or there, right? Well, as far as I'm concerned. No. <laughs> the right kind of checked a little league uh, right, where right. it was intended to go, where the voters in, uh, approved it to go. Or I cut a check to twelve hundred, and then they questioned me, "Why did I only give them twelve hundred? The I voters guess, approved two thousand. I guess I'm confused. <laughs> How would that be different than like we approve twenty thousand dollars in stone, but we only spent eighteen thousand, right? Wouldn't but you didn't spend of... it somewhere else. Gotcha. It's not like you were like, well, we're only going to spend fifteen, and we're going to give five to something else. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. With appropriations, it gets a little... Mm -hmm. I mean, I got questioned on the 300 that we didn't give the animal shelter when they closed. It's like, well, we didn't give it to them because they closed. <laughs> I, guess, I guess to me, the, the money... I don't They're know. like, well, you still should have paid them. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't agree with that auditing philosophy. The auditing philosophy for me is, okay, we have the money, the money's still here, it's there, we're good. Like, I agree. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm not what saying do you think, I Bruce? always agree. <laughs> uh, I'm right. telling you, I know what the answer is going to be come yeah. August. <laughs> we can justify it. Richard, my and, Richard but, and Shelley both have the same argument, so that that would seem to me that that is pretty much what we've got to do for this year: is give them a complete donation, but that we don't do that. Uh, next year. Jairus? Uh, okay. um, yeah, I, I agree with Shelley that at this time, give it to them. But maybe the rec board could reach out to the Little League board and say, if you're just looking for a straight donation, put in for a straight donation. Yeah. Um, if you're going to do work, let's give some specs on what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah, that's how it was before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't think we need a motion because nothing's really changing, no. right? Right, right. So you all, uh, including Parks and Rec, approved that $2,000 check in your last check warrant because yeah. I wasn't sure when the parks were going to be raked. It's still sitting on my desk. Um, after this, I wasn't sure how to move forward, but from... Today, I will give it on to Brian Spears, and he will deposit it to... Yeah, no no one wants to hurt the children, no. especially Parks and Rec, and it's just... Well, uh, it's it, not going into any individuals. Right. No, no. Little League. Little League. Yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, not going, it's not benefiting any one individual. It's benefiting a program. Right. But... And hopefully, maybe the part of that being responsible parents and responsible children by raking and getting something for it, well, maybe that will be made up in, on the coaching side, you know, that they're teaching kids well, fair play. Things, and, well, and the other thing is getting the kids outside. I mean, yeah, Randy, Randy, yeah. Randy and I talked about this before uh, in between, like, first and second inning or whatnot, but we were talking about it, and basically what we like to see is the kids breaking in the park. Yeah. I mean, how That's cool right. is it? Yeah. How cool is it driving by seeing 100 kids out there raking? 
We just gotta enforce the quality, I guess. Yeah, they I mean, incentivize it. I yeah, think they're getting enough. In, I think they're getting enough incentive. So why did they change? The yeah. It used to be on a weekend. <laughs> right, it used to be back when yeah. Mike yeah. was yeah. it was because of weather. The only reason why we did that this year is because of weather. It rained. Wow. Well, yeah, it's the weather. Not only, yeah, it's not, this year it did, but in years past, Richard, the reason it changed was because. Well, I remember when I was in baseball, like Josh said, it was the kids and the coach that rate. The parents right. brought them and helped a little bit. Right. But now, I mean, it's it's an inconvenience for a lot of parents. Instead of teaching your kids that the, the they get community service, part of part of the baseball. The season. nine ten year olds lean on Rick, don't know anything, right. which is very sad. I mean, a nine ten year old can rake. Yeah, but. So, That's the yeah. first time they've ever seen a rake. <laughs> they had to go to the buy new rakes just for that. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> so, anyway. Sounds like, sounds like another potential project for the public service work crew. That's it's a big project, Bruce. Yeah. It's a whole generation. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> so, all right. You, you. So, stole my context. Is there any other public comment? No, I just want to talk to the executive for one minute. Okay. So, can I have a motion to exit? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 I would make a motion to enter into executive session with Heidi Bridge Valenta, Shelley LaRock. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, Ty Schwarner. I think I'll probably relate the other way. And I'm assuming you are Matt Boucher. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yes. Either way, I'm kind of screwed on that.